Hey everybody, welcome to this week's edition of 3M PM, three minutes of Pastor Michael Theology Made Simple. Today we are going to go over, did Jesus Christ actually raise from the dead? This is the most important question anybody can ever ask in their life. Because if Jesus did raise from the dead, it means everything. And if he didn't, then we who are having faith in this Jesus who never actually defeated death, we are to be most pitied. So how do we take the understanding of what the resurrection did, but also knowing the evidence and arguments against the resurrection all within three minutes? So here we go. Some evidence. We have a ton of historical documentation and evidence from Christian and non-Christian historians and writers that this Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. This also plays hand in hand with the testimonial historical evidence that it actually happened, whether it was eyewitnesses there or testimonials of people who have been there or were with Jesus when they walked. There's tons of evidence based off of this Jesus Christ raising from the dead. But there are a few arguments that people will bring up. That is, one, maybe this Jesus Christ who died on the cross wasn't actually dead. Or maybe he was stolen. Or maybe he was swooned. So the swoon theory is that Jesus was almost dead. And then when his body went into this cold tomb, there was a swoon of cold air and it revived him. And then lastly, imaginary. That people were almost imagining that Jesus Christ came after he died showing to them. There is no legitimate logical truth for any of these claims. But we have a lot to rely on historically with the evidence that is provided. But let's talk about what this did for us, that Jesus Christ actually rose from the dead. The first, it demonstrated his deity, that he was actually God, that he could defeat death. The second, it validated all of his teachings, his life and death and everything that he taught and lived, that he was sinless, was validated when he rose from the dead. Next, it completed the atonement. Somebody who was completely sinless took our place on the cross and his rising from the grave also showed that we too will rise from the grave. Next, it confirms his power. We know that the wages of sin is death, but God and Jesus Christ who humbled himself, obedient to death, even death on a cross, could not be dominated by death itself, that he would defeat it because he is creator of everyone and everything. And lastly, it promised his returning. We know that since Jesus Christ rose from the dead, it asserted all of his teachings that he is God and he is perfect and he will come again one day. So hopefully that talks about the resurrection of Jesus Christ and why it's important and the why we dedicate our lives to it. But until next week, God bless.